Good morning all, Camelback Trading that all coming to you this Thursday morning, 8-8. Eight, eight. Looking at Window Traders market profile of the ES and NQ. So bears were very aggressive all afternoon yesterday. We went out with a triple distribution day to the downside in ES and in NQ. A double distribution in righty. We also went out with a price probe in M period. We spent the majority of the overnight both below the price probe and yesterday's low. But right now, with 70 minutes to go, we're attempting to uh, trade above K's low, which is the base of your price probe. So we'll see how that, um, what happens there at 9.30. Righty, wide overnight park. Now I am in fives. Um, they did not probe last night. We have a 15 wide overnight in ES. 16, I believe. Now, the thing is, I'm in four tick increments in NQ, so I'm not sure if that's totally accurate. So, uh, I think you have something out at 8.30. Uh, but the bottom line is this, right? There's lines in the sand that bears want to defend. There's baby steps that bulls need to take. So, the first line of defense for bears will be the base of the price probe, K is low. After that, it will be your overnight high, depending on where it is. You'll still be trading with lower value at that point, okay? If, however, you get the base of the price probe, you get the overnight high, now there's an opportunity to at least go up to the upper end of the lower distribution. Remember, we're trading yesterday is three separate days. So the bulls do have a lot of work to do. First is staying above the price probe, getting the overnight high, and then trying to get above the lower distribution and take back those single prints to get into the middle distribution. Okay, so those are, th those are your targets for the bulls right off the bat. For the bears, first target will be yesterday's low, then your overnight low, which would then put you into that very, very large buy tail for Monday for both ES and NQ, which would then give them the ability to test the balance low. So in, in very simple terms, that is the game plan for both bulls and bears this morning. We'll see which one is going to be successful. As far as early trades, again, it depends where your overnight high is. If your overnight high stays around here, you can still take that short, but you're going to have to use a point total as you're out. If, however, the overnight high gets closer to the upper end of the lower distribution, that's a really good risk reward short and then out above those single prints fill, right? Same in NQ. As far as a long, I would not look to long yesterday's low because that's not something the bulls have any interest in defending. It's just balance. We're a four-day balance. Monday's low will be the more important one. So, again, do you want to, if the market does sell off and we don't get the overnight high, would I be that interested in taking the long against the overnight low? It really depends. I'm not sure, considering how far away from it we are, if we're to revisit that level, I think I might be more apt to take a short to get it rather than to fade it. All early plays, ladies and gentlemen. You'll be getting that live in this trading room, live webinar. And then on the chart, four-day balance. Friday's the high of it. Monday's the low of it. Huge ranges inside, which have been awesome. But for the most part, this is all noise until we come out of this balance. Good luck trading today. Thanks for liking and subscribing to this channel. And we'll recap at 4 p.m.